The Cavaliers down three games to one to the Knicks. Game five, Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse Wednesday. Um, not a good weekend. Take a look at this from Channing Fry. Um, okay, last complaint. Where is the sense of urgency from the Cavs? Wild to watch. He's referring uh, to the loss yesterday in game four. Another thing of note, Knicks had 17 offensive rebounds in the game, 21 second chance points. We've heard that before in this series. Uh, let's welcome in Sam Miko, HoopsWire.com. Sam, um, they're just getting out hustled and, and um, not doing the things that got them 50-plus wins during the regular season. Yeah, I mean, you start with the rebounding. We saw the tweet from Kelsey Russo. That was a problem in game one. Uh, you, you just really, at this point, don't know what's going to change that. I, I certainly did not foresee the Cavs getting uh, out-muscled near the basket to this extent uh, for an entire series. And that's really been a, a huge thing, the fact that they've, you know, they're – you look at the regular season, their defense was near the top all year long and rebounding was one of their strengths, but uh, defensive rebounding has, has not been very good. Their defense at the rim has not been very good. The Knicks are getting a lot of layups, uh, a lot of putbacks, and uh, it seems like every long rebound has been going to New York. Um, part of that is, is, as Channing Fry suggested, you know, part of that is kind of the sense of urgency and the hustle. And, and uh, these are all things that a lot of people feared you might see from a young team in the playoffs kind of playing as if it's the regular season still. And uh, you, you just can't do that. You see the results, especially when you when you play that way on the road for two games. Um, you're going to you're going to get taken care of pretty quickly. And that's, you know, that's the reason they stand where they do in the series right now. Yeah, and, and it, it hasn't been Julius Randle. Julius Randle hasn't really been a factor in the series. Brunson and then Isaiah Hartenstein, Mitchell Robinson. I, those are the two guys, Hartenstein and Robinson. That's supposed to be a strength with Allen and Mobley, and it's, it's really hurt them inside. Yeah, those two guys have outplayed that you just named Hartstein and, and and especially Mitchell Robinson, uh, their starters, their starter at center, have really outplayed Jared Allen and Evan Mobley. Uh, and, and, and you're right, Julius Randle has not had a good series shooting the basketball. Uh, he's he's done a lot of other things well, and that's really kind of setting that physical aggressive tone uh, that that the Knicks have played with, and of course. You know, the ultimate X factor for the Knicks so far has been Josh Hart, who's six four, been getting a ton of rebounds, a lot of loose balls, making a lot of plays. Josh Hart's been the ultimate X factor in this series. Uh the Knicks are twenty and nine since they've gotten Hart, which I tweeted out earlier, but um it's just been a case of the more aggressive, more physical team is having their way and the Cavs look like they don't you know for three of the four games have looked like boy we, we weren't ready for this and we didn't expect this and again in their defense we kind of talked about this heading into the playoffs is teams with young cores that have not been in this situation before get a little shell shock and that's where the Cavaliers are right now.